Hello and welcome, more chefs. So let's see. So he doesn't take mana, but he protects his knight. Now what about taking? I mean, the obvious move is knight is check, which wins the queen, but... Also, knight takes f6, if queen f6, bishop g5 should also trap the queen, right? So what's better? Let's say knight takes, queen takes, bishop g5. Oh, there's some shenanigans with knight takes d4, pawn takes d4, bishop takes f3. Knight take, 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 I'm still up a piece. Right? Takes, queen takes. Ship g5, knight takes, 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 takes. Sorry, takes, takes, takes. No, it wouldn't be up a piece, right? So, I think I have to play knight d6 check. As knight takes f6, queen f6. Knight takes d4 seems to work. Pawn takes, bishop takes. And then I have to take the queen, he takes. I most likely have to take. And he takes, and we both have one bishop left. And he won the pawn in this case. Maybe he doesn't see it, but I think knight d6 is the cleanest way to win this queen. Although. Knight is six check, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop takes an f4. Now he only gets, <coughs> excuse me, two minor pieces for the queen. Which is not enough, I think. I hope I don't blunder again. So, let's see what has he for ratings. Whoa, 2200. 2200 in correspondence chess, oh, that's weird. I just played the London system again. Just be solid. Okay, so he transposes into into Sicilian, so I will put my bishop on this long diagonal. Later play probably d6 and knight f6 or e6 and d5. Or e6, knight g7 and then d5. So, he attacks this bishop, I can give this check first, he has to go to g7, do I benefit from that, don't think so, I think I just play rook b3, taking this pawn, if he takes it, I can just recapture, no problem, if he attacks this pawn then e4 is okay, and this pawn is going nowhere, and my king can just approach to these pawns when he takes and I have to go e4. So after rook b3 I think there's not much to do for my opponent. I hope so. <coughs> Alright. He also has some decent ratings. I think I try queen's gambit declined here or a queen's gambit a proper one. Yeah, as well. I'm not very familiar with Queen's Gambit structures, but I have to try this. So here I want to plant this bishop. White most likely wants to open this up with, with f5, so that after he takes f5 his bishop is strong again. But if I get in d5 I'm in kind of good shape, I think. So, okay, he doesn't take this pawn. So now that queen h5 is no longer possible, I think I have to play knight f3. I mean, developing, blending this, this pawn, so the bishop can't take it. Can't be that wrong. And I don't see how he gets this pawn pulled back immediately. Okay. 
So I think I will play a Slav defense. Maybe a semi Slav or something like this. Welcome back, guys. I'm here with more chess. Okay, so he just took my bishop. As I said, my plan is to just take, then e4, king f2, king f3, and then my mess of pawns in the center would just be too much for black. Okay, so yeah, I have to take the queen. I could also take this bishop and is this queen then trapped? No, can't be. Bishop takes and just queen. Queen here and queen h6 maybe. Now nah, let me just take this bishop. He only gets two pieces for the queen. Okay, so he prepares bishop d6. I go e3. So preparing to get my bishop out, my knight out, and just develop. Okay, queen's gambit accepted. I played in the e3 line. There's also e4, I guess, or knight f3, but I play it simple. The point is that after b5, a4, you can't really go with, with a6, of course, because I can take, and this apron would be pinned. And b5, a4, c6, I can just take, c takes, and queen f3 when he has to give up material due to this attack on his unprotected rook. So b5 is basically not playable, I think. <coughs> Okay, bishop e2, very modest, very modest play. I thought he would play g3 and bishop g2 maybe, so he gets a king's indian attack, but this is just... don't know what to call it. Just a bit too passive, I think. So we'll just develop. Okay, the e3 slav. Not a huge expert on this, but I think knight f6 is normal. If he goes knight f3 or knight c3, he can probably play bishop b5, uh, sorry, bishop f5, and deal with the position then. So in here I'm curious which knight first, knight g, g to e7 first or knight, knight c6 first. I think I developed this guy here first. Although, is f5 an, an issue? d5 first. Doesn't look that good. If knight here, f5 takes, takes, knight takes. Maybe f5 is a problem. Nah, I don't believe it. I think I can at least play d5. Oh, so what's this? He doesn't even take this bishop, so I can take, and I'm on his rook. No, he's completely lost in this in this game before. Basically down the queen for nothing. So I have to take this guy. We have a Slav. Knight of three is the main move. Yeah, and then maybe I play the queen c2 line. Knight c3 would be the, the main line then. After let's say knight of six, which is I think the most played move. Yeah, we will see. Let's go guys, more chess. Let's see. Okay, so we had to remove his rook. Now I can retreat my bishop and I will be up a full queen. Let's go here. Okay. So. I will attack this pawn again. I want to win it. And that's what I said. Now I can play a4. When c6 I can take and play queen f3. Okay. So here we have a Slav, I 
think bishop f5 is here okay. There are some things with queen b3. But at the moment I can just play queen b6 if needed. Or even queen c7 is okay, I think. Okay, so the normal move would be knight, G, knight e5, I think. Knight bd2 is also playable. e3 I don't want to play, I don't want to play a block in this bishop. Most likely put it on f4. I think I will play knight e5. He will probably go bishop e6 when I can just take on d5. And everything should be fine, I think. Let's see. Oh, he moved again. Okay. So I'm a queen up. This is very nice. So I think everything will win at this point. Does he have a threat? He can take this guy. I'm okay with that. I think, let me just trade off some pieces. I mean, I'm up a full queen. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so as expected, he challenges my bishop. I just retreat it, so in case he takes, I want to open up the h file to attack him if he calls it uh, short. Okay, now he plays c3. It's very weird, in my opinion. I think I go knight f6 so that he can't go d4 now. Because e4 is hanging, and if he goes e5, I have knight g4 hitting this pawn then three times. Two knights, and my bishop is only protected once. So he has to go d4. Could be annoying. Another normal move when someone plays d3 is d5. Because of the takes, queen takes, knight c3 is not possible, so the queen is kind of safe on d4, or d5 in this case. So I think I will go with this approach, because this knight f6, e5, knight g4, d4 line, I don't really like. Okay, so just place d3. He probably wants to go bishop c, uh, bishop e3, but then b2 will be hanging. So I will just, will I just castle or play knight, knight c6? Hmm. Does it make a difference? I like to be castled, to be honest. Okay, so he takes, yeah, no. Now what? I think I can even call the queen side. Castling queen side, maybe a5, b4. That's not enough. Clearly not enough for a queen at, at least. The other thing is I can just castle and take it from there. Or maybe I can play knight e5. When he wants to take this pawn, I'm okay with that. Opening up some files for my attack. How to say? Ah, come on. Castle Queen said and attack him. G falls and stuff like this. Okay, so this pawn is now weak. So he has this semi threat of taking but then I'm on his rook so d4 is not hanging in this case so let me just attack e6 so he has to waste a tempo defending it what's going on guys let's play some chess okay why is he telling me this no I don't want this that's yeah, now it's working. Okay, so I traded the pieces and the castle long because I want to attack him. 
He might have some Knight F4 ideas, but I don't really mind this move. You can just go Queen E3 or something like this, or Queen D2. I think should I start with G4? Oh, Queen E4, and then it just says F5. Maybe I should go Knight G5. And when he goes G6, uh, sorry, H6, I can go Knight E4. I can C5 and D6. Although Knight E5, Knight G5, Knight F4. Ah. Neither force more annoying than I thought. So let's play g3 first. Just cut this move out and then proceed with knight g5. Okay, so the usual plan when this bishop is developed either to g4 or to f5 is queen b3, attacking the undefended pawn. And most of the times, queen b6 is played when I can go c5. And when he takes, I can take with the apron and push this guy up the board to get rid of it and create some some queenside weaknesses. So, for example, when my pawn captures and pushes to b5, I can create a weakness on c6. Or if he takes, then most of the times this a7 pawn becomes isolated or, or at least very weak. So this is a favorable structure, I think. Okay, so knight of three is the normal move. I don't mind if he goes knight of six, knight e4 taking here and then open up the h5 for me. It costs some valuable time. And this is my bad bishop. I have to say this in quotes, my bad bishop because my central pawns will be on dark squares, most likely I will play c3 and then this is my, my bad bishop because because the pawns will restrict it at least when it's back on c1 for example so bishop d3 is also on the agenda and this is my good bishop so I would rather trade the g3 bishop than the f1 bishop of course so I don't really mind if he trades this one with knight e4 and knight takes g3, especially since this is an, his defending knight, his key defender of the king side. Okay, so c3, so he probably wants to push d4 and gets a massive pawn center. So I strike immediately, I think. He can't go e5, of course, because um, the c4 bishop is hanging and if he takes I just take with the pawn yeah but then this f4 pawn looks a bit stupid I had this in, a, in another game where my opponent pushed e5 very early and I said it back then the bishop on c1 will be restricted and when this pawn on e4 is gone f5 is basically never playable yeah, I think never playable. Even with g4 and f5, this is not really good. So just counter in the center. If he just retreats, maybe I can take. Well, I would probably just develop, so don't commit to something yet. If he wants to go e5, then I get the f5 square. This is also very okay. Queen b4 check might be an idea. Apart from that, of course, he's just protecting the e6, the e6 pawn yet. For the time being, the so knight g5 of course comes to mind, which looks kind of okay. And he can take g2. What else? I can just castle if I want. Just castling short. Can play bishop f4. But then here's some some knight e5 shenanigans and doesn't really 
bring much, although knight d5, then of course bishop g5 is playable, but I like to castle first. I've developed two pieces, I have a pawn in the center, so just castle and then see what I can do. Okay, so now queen beats the re ideas. Also threaten to just take this pawn because he's then one, two, three times on this pawn, so I would just protect it another time. So if he goes, let's say queen b3, I can even just go queen c7 here, because no bishop f4 tactic works. Usually this position I know with colors reversed, so after queen b6 in this case, if white in this case, then go queen b3, and queen c2 is retreated, then bishop f5 is often playable because queen takes f5, then queen takes b2, and usually there will be a knight and the rook, like this case is it's my knight and my rook, and with the queen attacking both pieces, the player is losing material. So if queen b3, queen c7, there is no bishop f4 tactic, as I said, so this is no problem at all. I have to be a bit careful about bishop d2 and rook c1 that my queen is not getting exposed in this in this file, but I think overall this queen is also misplaced on b3. So I like this again some sort of London system setup. I also play this with white, so it's kind of solid. Okay, so he's playing very passive. You can even go e5 here and take more space in the center. Do I want this? What else? You can go knight f6. e5, knight g4, d4. And if I take, take. Can take in this case because now his queen is no longer defending d4, so I think knight f6 makes quite some sense. Okay, so this, so d6, is, I think this is really a blunder because he can't recapture when queen f3 is winning material. Let's see, maybe he will resign after he takes on b5 and I play queen f3, but. I very much doubt it.